Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video and today we're going to use another budget cream. This is Perezzo Blue and this has got aloe and uh, vitamin E in it. It's quite good. It costs around 10 bucks. The scent is just pleasant. I don't really know how to describe it other than pleasant. And we will use this today along with our uh, Razor Rock Big Bruce. Excellent brush for the money. And uh, let's go ahead and on these creams I usually just squirt a little loud and you know put it in my brush there and then I'll squirt a little bit a few dabs uh, on my face just from place to place and uh, we'll get started let me wet my face first stay tuned all right let's put a couple of little dabs of cream on here there we go that should be enough and then we shall Get going. This is a really nice cream. Like I said, costs around ten bucks ish, or at least that's what it is on Amazon. Sometimes you can get it cheaper elsewhere. I'm sure uh, works very nicely. It's kind of a for me a neutral smell. It is pleasant. I don't really know how to describe it entirely, but. Um, it's quite good. Good performer, good cost, classic. Once again, using a classic. And uh, it really hits the spot for me. I like it a lot. The only Parazzo I don't really care for is the red, um, or actually in the white, which is unscented. I don't really like the scent of earthy type sandalwood, which Parazzo red is. But um, this one is really good. All right, nice thick lather for pass one. A little thicker than I need it to tell you the truth, but that's okay. Let's see if I cut that back a little and a little bit more. All right. Uh, today we're just going to use a Super Speed with black tip. Prices on these vary. The Super Speeds, you know, vary from. They used to be, you know, anywhere from 15 to, let's say, 30 bucks. But these usually can be found, you know, 20 something. Back when I was buying them, and admittedly, that's been a couple of years, so I don't recall exactly. But um, nice and affordable, and you know, they are quality. Get the hair out of the way there. They are a quality razor. They have already stood the test of time. Very nice. This uh, this cream leaves behind tremendous re residual slickness. That is super slick um, when there's water on it. And it does a fine job. I hope everyone is enjoying their week. It is Friday, so if you work this week, you've just about gotten another one knocked out, heading towards the new year. Excellent. All right. That was an excellent first pass. With budget equipment, we'll come back for pass two. All right. Here we go, pass two. Boy, I tell you, a lot of people are... Uh, can't wait for 2016 to end. Just the other day, Carrie Fisher, who would play Princess Leia in the Star Wars movies, passed away. And then one day later, I think it was the day before yesterday, her mother, Debbie Reynolds, who's a very famous actress, singer, she was, I think Carrie was 60-something and her mother was 80-something. Her mother passed away one day after Carrie did, Debbie Reynolds. And for those of you who are younger, you may not remember, but Debbie was quite famous. I think she has actually two Hollywood stars on, they're in, I guess, Los Angeles. I think one's for singing and one's, one's for acting. So she was quite accomplished. Boy, how sad that must be for their loved ones to lose you know, two people like that. That's why I keep saying, you know, 
Um, this shaving stuff is just minor stuff, people. You know, life is what it's all about. And if you're blessed with relatively good health and you're, you're drawing breath, you have to be thankful because we lost a lot of people in 2016. And uh, I lost my uncle, who I was close to, um, back in October. And uh, last year, I lost my father-in-law, who I was also close to in October. Um, so, you know, life is beautiful, people. Enjoy it. And try to make the most of it and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your shaves and... Perhaps spend less time arguing over, you know, stupid shave gear. I mean, I know it brings us a lot of joy, you know. But the gear itself, you know, it's just shaving gear. Come on. You know, no need to argue. Um, say what you got to say and then move on. If you don't want to use something, don't use it. Use what, uh, use what you want, when you want how you want or don't but spending all this time being bitter over shaving gear is just not a good thing life is too short and precious for that all right stay tuned for pass three so i'd like to introduce a little segment here called what i'm watching <laughs> just to, i think people enjoy hearing you know stuff other than shaving first of all let me make a statement I don't like the garbage television that ABC and NBC and CBS put out. All that reality crap and those terrible sitcoms, I just don't care for it. There's very little I watch on the old-fashioned broadcast networks. So, generally speaking, apart from football, which I've lost a lot of interest in this year, to be honest, because of the Kaepernick thing. But anyway... Um, apart from sports, I watch very little regular TV. ABC, CBS, NBC. It's terrible. It's just those shows are terrible. And I find that they are not producing the type of content like Showtime, HBO, AMC, FX, um, and a handful of other channels are producing. Netflix originals, Hulu originals, they are killing uh, old-fashioned broadcasters in the type of content they are producing. So I just started watching um, the night before last, something that old man Tom Brim recommended a couple years ago, a show called The Bridge, and this is on Hulu, if you have it. It was originally aired on FX, two seasons, I believe, and it's interesting... Um, show about basically they found a body that's right on the border of the United States and Mexico actually dead on the border half and half half the body on one side half on the other so it, it ends up involving the Mexican police or Mexican state police and um, the United States El Paso PD very interesting show I'm glad Tom Brim recommended it it's one that he's right on he's usually wrong not usually, but anyway, about three or four uh, episodes in, and it is quite good. Sadly, there was only two seasons, and, and the reason why is because people were too busy watching those crap sitcoms and garbage reality shows on those other networks. That quality shows like this sometimes don't make it, but anyway, really, really good so far. So if you haven't checked out The Bridge, which can be seen... On Hulu, which is a streaming service, as I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I cut off my cable. I don't watch cable anymore. I do have subscriptions to Netflix and Amazon videos and um, DirecTV now, which I have HBO through streaming for five bucks a month. And I have Showtime streaming as well. So those that's pretty much what I watch. And I'm quite happy with it. I don't miss television at all because of the garbage that's on uh, cable. Just my opinion. All right, let's come back and we'll get back to shaving, talk about the post. Stay tuned. All right, and in comes the magic. 
because it's made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel, great stuff. It's always mentioned, although I gotta tell you, the Parazzo Blue leaves my skin feeling quite good. Really, really nice cream, and let's look at it again before we go to the aftershave. Parazzo Blue Shaving Cream, really, really nice. I do recommend it, it's fantastic. It doesn't take a lot, a few dabs, and you saw the lather, excellent. Old school Super Speak with black tip, very, very nice. And of course our um, Razor Rock Big Bruce, which is fantastic for the money. What a steal. Those Razor Rock um, Plus Soft knots are just fantastic. And today we're gonna stick with the Razor Rock aftershave. This one is Don Donato, and this was on sale at some point. I think I got it for maybe seven or eight bucks. I can't remember, but it was less than $10, I'm pretty sure. It's got just a really nice scent. I don't know how to describe it. Sort of like a cologne, but not a super stout cologne. It's mostly clean and fresh for me, which is what I think Perezzo Blue is. And uh, this is beautiful stuff. I love the scent of this. Um, and the soap is quite good as well. Same scent. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Don Donato, once again. And I say this every video because I used to spend a lot of money on aftershaves, you know. But now that they're getting up there to 20, 25 bucks, guys, you don't need to spend that. Um, or at least I don't. Maybe you do. If you have sensitive skin, maybe. But for the rest of us, stuff like this, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, Sterling and Razor Rock, awesome aftershaves for not a lot of money. You don't have to spend 20, 25 bucks for an aftershave. At least that's my thinking. Um, spend 10 and get two, or sometimes three, you know, from Razor Rock, so, or get a couple from Sterling. Excellent stuff. All right, folks, thanks as always for watching, and remember until next time, let's make America shave.